taking the siding off, we're going to redo the insulation. Inside there in the shop is a, is a small apartment, and that apartment is a, it's got a gas furnace, natural gas, and uh, we saw an increase in uh, cost on heating that apartment. And what we found is that a cat had gotten into the garage, got on top of the apartment, and gone down into the wall and uh, couldn't get out. And he tore up the insulation. I'm sure there's others that have heard the same thing. So what I'm doing today in this 92 degree heat is, and there is a little bit of shade there, so I'm not complaining, and there's a little bit of breeze. So we're, so uh, I, I've started on it. And... Uh, taking the screws out and labeling the panels and marking them so I know where to put them and line them up. So the, you know, line up with holes. So uh, this is an insulation job that I did not plan on this year, but here it is. And you know what happens to plans. <laughs> they get replanned. All right, I better get back to work. Well, uh, you can see that the insulation is in place and uh, although it's uh, pieces they put in pieces it's pretty rough and it's very dirty and very mousy but I don't see no disturbance by a cat it may be down at the other end but doesn't seem to be down at this northeast corner and I've got two panels off and there's no sign whatsoever of a cat being in here they never went this far uh, we'll have to talk about what we really want to do with this thing and uh, talk to you tonight Well, today, Saturday, we're trying to get a few things done. Been working on the fence and uh, got some fencing done. Trying to get some water done. Things are drying up some pretty bad. It's been over 100 degrees here. But uh, Barton was uh, uh, wanting to get the, back onto this uh, insulation, and he said uh, we need to find out what this uh, east wall was like because he said that that was the one that was uh, coldest so he's uh, dug into it and as you can see um, this is the one where the cat was uh, in and there's even some insulation missing up there that has nothing to do with the cat I don't think but you can see he just tore the living you know what out of this wall and uh, it crunched it down he was in there for a while he or she, probably a she. And uh, so this is the wall that uh, uh, what he was suffering with last year. What's that, Bart? Oh, I, the cat did get out. I had to open up the tin, pull it open, and leave it overnight or a day or whatever until it finally came out. Otherwise, it would never come to me when I called it. It'd yeah. be quiet. And then when I wasn't there, it'd meow. <laughs> yeah, it was a wild cat, I yeah. think and uh or wild enough but uh, i'm gonna try to back up and get a little better shot of this so it gives you an idea just how bad this is and when you're putting out uh, a power bill well actually it was natural gas uh, that natural gas bill was getting crazy. He was paying more for this little apartment than we were for a big house. And he knew there was something wrong, so that's what we was planning on doing this year, is just tearing the snot out of this and getting down to finding out what's going on. Now, the other one wasn't, didn't seem to be quite as bad, but there was missing insulation in it. So now that we see this, we can go to town and buy us some insulation. We can get this done. And... Uh, 
that's uh, pretty significant, you know, when you're, first of all, missing a lot of insulation, and then, uh, you know, it just wasn't uh, wasn't done right and wasn't enough. We're, we're going to get this done right. So uh, Barton's already got the, the tin pulled off, and, uh, yeah, so uh, this is uh, basically part two. The other picture shows the uh, beginning, and then... Uh, what I'll do is step over here, show you that uh, the pictures that I had on this side, uh, we've already got this back, back together again. We do want to pull it out down there. That AC, uh, that little cracker box up in the window, uh, by the window, we're going to pull that out and uh, seal that off, insulate that. And uh, But we've got all of this wall done. So, yeah, we got more to go. But... Uh, with this kind of weather, you can only do so much. So from Sand Hollow, uh, we'll stay tuned for the next part. Okay, this is how it should have been. Uh, we basically found what we could, insulation underneath, the original, and it was probably R13, I guess, but it was just a six inch gap in there of no insulation. So tacked it lightly back against the, the wall or two by fours and then put the R19 over top and uh, it looks definitely pretty good looks like I need a couple more tacks down uh, but it should do a lot better I shouldn't feel uh, cold air coming in underneath that that wall there which I definitely felt it this winter so thank you dad for helping Oh, sure was <laughs> fun handing you stuff while you did all the work. <laughs> it helped. Yeah. Good job, Bart. <laughs> good job, Dad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're a good team. Yep, yep. And uh, hopefully your uh, you can knock your power bill, uh, not power bill, natural gas bill down two-thirds. Yeah. Because of the square footage in there. It's not much. Way too much. Yeah. That would be nice. Even half would be nice. Well, it should help on the air conditioning, too. Yeah. Yep. All well, righty. Tomorrow you'll feel the difference. I got to work. I won't feel it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Bart. All right. Thank you, Dad. Bye. Well, Barton put some screws in the panels and got it put up. They're not completed, but uh, I'll finish them later. So thank you, Barton. Good job. Uh, this side of the shop, the east side, is half done, and we got half to go. And uh, we we did find that this is the worst uh, section right here. Don't know about the next section, but uh, this was really the worst section where the cat was caught in there. He did open a panel, and he did let the, the cat out. And the cat was able to escape from inside the wall. So the wall, the cat did survive. But um, it sure did a, a real, it did a lot of damage to that wall and uh, some to the north. But, you know, re-insulating it has been a, a blessing because uh, we'll see a reduction in, uh, in cost in cooling and heating this thing. And uh, we've got that to go. Now the south side, uh, you can see I won't be able to get into it because of that shed. But there's other ways to do it. We're going to do it from the, we're going to climb inside, get up on top of the apartment. And then uh, we'll determine how uh, we have to do the, the wall on the south side. And uh, there's different options we have. And we'll probably discuss that later in, uh, in another video. We haven't figured out what we're going to do yet. There's too many options. So uh, it is looking better. Uh, good eight inches of insulation on this side. So that's going to really make it nice. Uh, so the uh, this emergency project, <laughs> I call it emergency because it wasn't planned, but you know we had to do it. Uh, and uh, and we get this done, then I get back on to working on my equipment shed and some other things. And uh, we'll show you uh, my fencing project and other things later. Talk to you later. <laughs>